Try to play you stupid and shit like that. Say, uh, say, um, go hit him with a white voice and then say it's a nigga breaking the house. Them motherfuckers will pop up, they'll teleport down this motherfucker. But, bitch, stop that bullshit. I ain't asked for nothing. Bitch, shut the fuck up, ho. Like, that, that's, that, that shit, that's, that's, and, and for you to be any type of blogger or any type of responsible adult. And you even read that shit without scoffing immediately afterwards. It's just fucking disingenuous. You know what Instagram models want. I need to be paid. Like, ain't that what their OnlyFans and all this cash app shit in their fucking uh, bio is all about? You want me, buy me. Uh, okay, how much for the head? The fuck? You're for sale. It's your picture with a price. No different than going on Facebook Marketplace and looking at a fucking car. 500 for the car. It's a picture of the car. Okay. It say everything about the car in that motherfucker. A V8. Uh, seat belts don't work. Air conditioning doesn't work. But the motor runs good. Uh, a bitch right here. Lyra galore. Fat ass. Titties. Okay head. Pussy is, uh, is moderately wet. $500. Will you take three fifty? Yes. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men Too Movement. Um, and this is... Are you fucking serious? As in, what what we doing? What, 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 what? I, I'm trying to see what we doing, man. Because I, I, I don't, you know... I'm, 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 we ain't getting the point. I, I ain't getting my point across some type of way. Uh, and it seemed like these... QC niggas is the main niggas who just, you, you, you walk around, if you don't know what the fuck happened, uh, see, obviously you've seen the title, so you know what the fuck happened, but, uh, CEO P, um, is now being extorted for 15 million by, um, a nothing ass bitch. See, this is why knowing, watching um the patreon exclusive series how to identify nothing as bitch it's so important a lot of you niggas are getting into the industry and having access this must be what it is my nigga you're having access to strippers Really, you're having access to females that you've never had access to before, and I, I won't. I, don't, I won't say that you're, you're having access to to hoes that you've never had access to before, because a woman you would have had access to her no matter where you were at in life, and she would she would be with you. So hoes, that shit goes up by your um, your status and your money. Um, so you get di introduced to a different um, type of bitch. So once you can afford. This type of bitch now is accessible. Then they'll start looking at you. But until you're at that level, these hoes will damn near treat you like a little brother and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know that you, like nigga, like you can't afford this. Like this, they nails cost more than you know what I'm saying. What you know what I'm saying? So uh, the head, like they have to keep their product looking. Um, attractive and in order to do that it takes money so they'll have you know corny nigga working nigga uh street nigga and then a boyfriend um it's gonna take all four of them niggas they're gonna have to work together 
in order to actually um, afford her. So all four niggas, you know how, you know, you and your homeboys, you and five of your homeboys will go in on a property. These niggas are going in on a bitch. And that's, that's why I call you a lame ass nigga. You understand? What money being the currency that we use to change so many people's lives for you to spend it on something that essentially should be free. Um, I have to call you a lame ass nigga. And, 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 and you know, what does that to even say? Because, you know, nigga, if you need a bitch in order to make your, um, make your life feel, for you to feel fulfilled, then I, I guess I can't really judge you, but of, of course I can. Like, this is a fucking human being. If we're doing that, then we have to say, hey, we're all for prostitution. I understand my girl is a fucking prostitute. I'm paying for her. At this point in time, I own her. And that's the thing about with a car, you'll make so many payments and then you'll own the car. With a bitch, you'll never own her. In fact, uh, you fuck around, she gonna own you. Shout out to my nigga Urban Politics uh, and out there in Houston. Um, I got word that uh, Lyra Galore came from Philadelphia or some fucking way. Then she came to Texas and shit like that. And her mother is out there. And I think this this takes a big part into this situation because... Um, maybe I shouldn't say that uh, since I've already said his name and shit like that. But I'm going to just say the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Uh... And it's not as if he told me anything too heavy, uh, but her name was Mama Galore on uh, on Instagram. And uh, I'm gonna go find some of those pictures so you can see what the mother looks like, so you, then you you can understand um, where the daughter is coming from mentally. When you're a bad bitch, when you're considered a bad bitch, we're gonna get to the domestic violence in a moment. But first, we gotta get through the prelude. When you're a bad bitch. Um, as I, as I was speaking to Ann, I told him, especially in this age, but it's always been like this. If you are an attractive female, um, you won't have to do the things that a unattractive female would, meaning actually work. Just like you, you get treated pretty much like a star athlete at high school. You don't have to, you know, do these tests or no shit like that. You'll always find somebody to do for you. Um, and what happens there just like lifting weights um if you don't push yourself or just like anything if you don't push yourself and try to reach new heights push yourself to new limits then you won't get any stronger um this is also um a parallel to what i was talking to taylor about the other night about as soon as what as soon as you start doing drugs your mind stops developing so if you started to do drugs at 12 year old 12 years old you will notice that in a person um like, damn, this motherfucker is 38 years old and still thinks like a child. Damn, she got a fat ass. I want to fuck. Smoke some weed. Go to sleep. That's their whole existence. Uh, and they can have a whole fucking body shop, paint shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, when do we learn how to add and subtract? You know, that's all the fuck that you really goddamn need. Um, and then after that, you pretty much, hey, I, I charged $5 for a car wash. You brought me $5. All good. It's not that fucking hard. Um, and it's the same way with a, uh, with an attractive female. Um, and they get used to that treatment. Um, and this is the reason why I'll tell you that, um, there is a look. Uh, we can play this bullshit ass game. Like you can't judge a book by its cover. You a motherfucking liar. You're a fucking liar. Uh, you can judge a book by its fucking cover. That's what the cover is for. If I'm trying to find a history book, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to have fucking numbers on the front of that motherfucker. Don't fucking talk to me in fucking cliches and shit. The bitch is... Nigga, it's fucking January. This bitch is in a full fucking bathing suit. She's a what now? That's a woman, man. What? My nigga, that's a prostitute. That's a fucking prostitute. And to be honest with... Like, my nigga, let's be serious. Let's get down to business. 
My nigga, you not like my nigga like any nigga with like what what are we talking about? Like, is this really a status? Of course it's a status. Look, we're not gonna play that game. Of course, having a bad bitch on your side is a status symbol. But when I see Rick Ross with Lyra Galore, I don't see Rick Ross and his wife. I don't see him and his bitch. I see him and a prostitute. He paid for her for the night. So she will be passed around. How in the fuck? What are we talking about? Is this even a conversation? Like, are you, like, you, P? You think that she actually want you? You, you believe that, um... What's the whole name that uh fuck with, uh Keisha Keisha Cole whatever fuck the whole name that fuck with Gucci? You think she would be with Gucci if Gucci wasn't if he couldn't? I get my you know what I'm saying uh the fucking um I get me a fifty million dollar lawsuit. I can have your hoe because it's a hoe. This isn't a woman. This is a hoe. Not to say that you treat this hoe like she isn't due her respect. It's just her respect is different from the respect that you would give to a woman. There, there's no reason to, to persecute and, and fucking... Oh, you're fucking... Ain't, ain't no, we're not children. You don't point at people and laugh. You you don't but you don't you don't go to that hole unless you have what that hole um unless you want what that hole has. If you don't want what that hole has, or if um if you don't if you don't need her services, what like what are you doing? And that's to the niggas who want to, oh, man, no, you nothing ass. Ain't no reason to call no nothing ass bitch, no nothing ass bitch if she ain't out of line. She knows she a nothing ass bitch. It's only when we get these situations like this, when this whole talk she want 15 million because, uh, nigga, you might have uh, put your hands on me when I got out of line, when I act like I wasn't your property while you was goddamn paying your notes. Hold on, bitch. Hold on, ho. Bitch, I paid. Bitch, I wish the fuck me to come or any motherfucker would come play with me after I done paid my monthly goddamn no. What the fuck is you talking about, bitch? Say no motherfucking love thing, ho. I said I want some head, bitch. I done paid my monthly goddamn premium. I get my goddamn shit. Fuck is you saying? You know what the fuck it is. I know what the fuck it is. Bitch, you choosing to be a goddamn uh, elephant and you want to be treated like a goddamn alligator. Bitch, you don't work like that, bitch. Mother, you, you, you chose to be a hoe and you want to be treated like a woman, bitch. Get my goddamn money back then, bitch. Fuck is you saying? That's, that's the real of it, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you because, you know, I, I to, to be honest with you, dog, um... When we talk about these niggas and, and how sad they are, uh, Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Future. Damn. Lil Baby. I ain't going to say why I feel Lucha. I might need to say them, but I ain't going to say them right now just because I can't get it off my head. But uh, to see these niggas who know know that these hoes would never look at them a day in their fucking life. Oh uh, man, in my swag, man, my swag. Are you serious, nigga? It's your swag that bought that hoe of fifty thousand. Let's listen to what this motherfucker talking about. Listen to what. Listen, listen to the reports. State control CEO P accused of violent abuse Laura, during Lyra Galore's pregnancy. Okay, if I remember correctly, he had two girls pregnant at the same time. This is crazy. Okay, so Lyra Galore. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, do he got a baby by her dog? Is that his baby?
Is that his? He got a child by her? CEO P. This motherfucker, I'll tell you what, my name I don't need no autocorrect, dog. Shut it up! Uh, Spits after he has a side chick praying at the same time. Damn. Gets damn, he did get that bitch pregnant, dog. Oh, nigga, you lame as fuck, man. You gotta, man, come on, my nigga. What did I, this changes everything! What I told y'all, you don't know a bitch until you get her pregnant. How the fuck did I miss this? Because I was probably doing, you know, but my nigga, you sick, like for real? That won't, see, that won't say, I did this whole thing, like nigga, you lame as fuck. Like, you lame as fuck. But this is what, this, and like I said, until you get your mind correct and actually start seeing yourself for what you are currently and not what America has uh, hypnotized you to believe that you are, you're going to be in these situations. America is going to let you know that you just a nigga. No, if, if you got money, you just a nigga with money. A broke nigga with money at that. Everything that you, nigga, you ain't going to live, nigga. This, it, it, you always get this negative, 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 black man, negative, 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 negative pushed on you at all time uh, to where it really hypnotizes you and make you believe that. So even being a multi-million dollar nigga, you will go around this bitch and bust in bitches that you know. You have to know, don't you? You thought that she was for you? You thought she was for you. But I guess that's what you paid for. You paid. You're not going to be paying no hoe so you can wear no condom. No, I'm paying you so that you reserve this pussy and mouth for me. This is now my body. If I find out you giving what I paid for to somebody else, I am going to be upset. And I am going to probably put hands on it because this is my fucking property. I don't give a motherfuck how the fuck you feel about nothing wrong, motherfucker. Nigga, this is what the fuck it is. This is what it is. I paid for this goddamn massage. And in, in the middle of my massage, you just gonna stop my shit and go, no. I pay, this is my motherfucking time. I'm like, this ain't that like that's what you selling, ain't it? Ain't that what you online selling? Like the, the fuck? Like, ain't you online selling you, your body? That's what you showing all the time. But not you ain't about that life now. Nah. Bitch, you crazy as fuck. After I didn't pay you. Bitch, you crazy as fuck. So for every Instagram model who believe that you're going to just, you, you know, uh, no, I'm still, I'm still, I can choose what I want to do. All right, well, I need what I get. I need that back. Take out, you know, take out whatever you charge for head, whatever you charge for doggy style, whatever you charge for swallow and all that. Take that out. For a month basis. And I need that other six months back. I need all that back. So you're going you're gonna to leave with what you came with. And that's why the fuck you stay. That's why the fuck. This, it's, it's not until now. I, I don't. How, how am I supposed to talk to you niggas man. You don't. Because you just really. Like you really believe the shit. That the whole. And, and the world might be feeding to you. You know. A child is the most, impre the most impressionable, they say, between two and seven. But with us, you know, when you got that low self-esteem, dog, that's a, very, that's a droll and depressing reality to live in that she's only here for my money. If I did not have this money, she would not be here. 
she would still be with Raw. She would still be with me. She would still she would be with a nigga with money. That won't change. She would be with an unattractive nigga with money. You're not gonna catch her with a, a light skinned nigga with dreads and golds that's broke. She gonna be with an ugly nigga with money. She's gonna be financially secure. She ran on P what she was trying to run on Ross. Except Ross was a little bit older. His sperm wasn't as strong. P is just a little bit younger. He is still strong. And a bitch looks at that shit too. This is why hoes crowd around future. They can see that he's fertile. Bitch, you gonna, that, that's a leak. And like I said, this is something that we don't have as men. As broke as niggas be, as broke as niggas be, there is no way you're, you're going to tell me that niggas will do anything to get a, a nigga, a, 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 nigga a, a half ounce of red jet. Niggas take blunts from niggas and walk away like, I ain't know what's going on. You can't tell me that a nigga would not use this same tactic. A broke mindset is a broke mindset. So if a nigga had a way of uh, scamming on a hoe, and then, uh, shit, you got to pay me out of your big money for 18 years. As many big bitches around tax season get their motherfucking head chopped off, you can't tell me, like, a nigga wouldn't be on that same shit. So, knowing this, that motherfuckers don't have financial stability, they come into your life uh, um, uh, financially decrepit and diseased. Financially contaminated. Financially unhealthy. And then they attach themselves to you. And while they're attached to you, until they have secured the bag, they're not going to allow anything to distract the process, to disrupt the process. They're going to follow this thing all the way to the end. Her coming out against CEOP um and I gotta go and get this out y'all need to go go watch somebody else shit to find out what the fuck happened obviously this whole to my goddamn CEOP didn't beat her back in 2018 and shit like that bitch why in the fuck is we hearing about this shit December of nigga 2020 the bag wasn't secured she wanted to make sure she was past the six month mark. Oh, I'm, we in this bitch. I'm not finna have no miscarriage, not finna have no stillborn. We in here. We in here. Now let's go ahead and run this shit to the fucking top. My nigga, I never fuck with you, fuck nigga. I ain't never fuck with you, my nigga. Matter of fact, fuck nigga. Look here, big home. Huh? Um. I ain't gonna hit you for none of that criminal shit. I ain't with that snitch shit, but not, I need 15 million, my nigga. I'm taking this shit to the courthouse. Nigga, you decide. And she probably told him that over the phone, and he thinking he can sweet talk her. Because while we together, before, I, I, I allowed you to put this fucking, your talons inside of me for 18 years, I can... I can hit you with what I thought was swag and sweet talk and you'll come on back home. But really it wasn't a swag and sweet talk. She just got like, God damn it. I can't do shit right now. Even if I call the goddamn police, this going to end the whole shit. I'm going to have to start over on a whole new nigga. I'm starting to get too many fucking miles. God damn, man. You know who she called? She called her motherfucking mama. She called her motherfucking mama. She called her mama and told her, and her mama said, you ain't got too many more years on you now. You better go on here and secure that motherfucker. You don't know what's going on with the next one. You got the goddamn bag in your hands. You better not fumble that motherfucker. Take your ass back to that goddamn house and handle business. I told you how to goddamn do it. Do that trick I showed you. Do that trick I showed you. You been keeping that shit in the, You been keeping that shit in your mouth? What I told you. I told you to keep that shit in your mouth, didn't it? You been doing that? I've been doing that. It, it, it ain't nothing been taken. Keep working it, girl. Keep working it. Stay humble. 
stay consistent. Don't be giving no shit now. You got to secure the goddamn bag. Because that's mama money too. This ain't no different to mama than her sending a, 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 a little boy off the goddamn uh, 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 play football. She take the goddamn boy to the goddamn doctor. Well, he has a lot of concussions. He should probably take a week. And I don't want to go to you no more. You, you talking that bullshit. Come on, we're going to go over here. No different. We broke out here, man. We fucked up out here. Money make everything easier. Even though when we get the money, we ain't never had money, so we're going to fuck it up. But just give us a chance with the goddamn money. Just get the money. We'll worry about all that other concussions and, and all that. We'll, I, 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 I wiped your ass then. I can wipe your ass now. Let's just get the money. No different than a mama sending her son out into the street to sell dope. Go get the money. Hold on. As a matter of fact, y'all listen to what the fuck happened. I gotta make sure this camera's still recording. I ain't for me. Says, I hope I'm saying her name right. Quality Control Music CEO P beat her violently and regularly, regularly during her first eight months of pregnancy with his child. And she asked for at least 15 million for her in in um, injuries. <sighs> In legal documents obtained by TMZ, Lyra, des Lyra described five separate beatdowns she received at the hands of Pete. In one alleged attack, she claimed he punched her in the face, threw her to the ground, began choking her, and punched her in the head so many times she developed knots. And they showing pictures of her from August 2018 with knots, and from October, 2018 with a uh, like swollen fingers like a like a hand injury this is crazy okay okay um, let's stop let's stop right there let's stop right there okay so now you call mama and say mama he he he, he hit me he hit me mama i can't tell you he hit, he hit me listen to me listen to me baby you gotta know about these men with money now you fucked it up with rick ross Meet me, it was too he was too young for you. If I told you to go get you an older man. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, you told me. Now listen to me. When you're dealing with a ugly ass man with money, he gonna have some inside issues. So you gonna have to stay up under the radar. Cause you as you can see, anytime you come up out there, you know you gotta I didn't told you. If you want a man for a night. You stroke his dick. If you want a man for a lifetime, stroke his ego. Didn't I always tell you that? Ever since you've been ever since I had you, ain't it? I told you that since you were five years old, ain't it? Alright now. You gotta tell that man at all times. Tell him how good he is. Tell him how good he looks. Always compliment him. Don't never raise your voice to him. Anytime he stink, no matter what's going on, don't you never tell him the truth until you secure that bag. Now, this is what you do. Listen to me good now, baby. You take pictures every time he put hands, because it's going to happen again. It's not going to be one time. You're going to have to go through it, but no pain, no gain. Every time he put his hands on you, you take pictures. You leave the house, act like you're mad, and you take pictures. If it increases, you need to act like you're finna call the police. And he gonna get guilty and he gonna buy you something. See that? That's how that works. But make sure you take pictures. Because once you secure the bag, you gonna get another bag on top of the bag you gonna get for the 18 years. Because that bag for the 18 years, it ain't gonna start for a little while. So until that bag kick in, you gonna get you a big bag. A severance pay. You know what severance mean? Yeah, it's a severance pay. You tell him, you send him all them pictures you got of when he put hands on you. And you you do a red thing, so it's gonna show up good. Anytime he touch you, you take a picture of him. 
and when you secure the bag, you leave his ass and send him them pictures and tell him you want 20 million. Now get your ass back to the house. Mama told him. Mama, mama coached her through the whole thing. And that's why I didn't want to just put out any type of video when I did this. How to identify a nothing ass bitch by her mama because... I'm supposed to stick to three ways and it is so difficult to keep it compressed like that. So I've just really been, cause I don't want to steer you wrong. You know, I'm giving you, and I, and if you ain't been to the Patreon, you better get to the Patreon to go see how to identify a nothing ass bitch in public. How to identify a nothing ass bitch by a car. How do I, uh, uh, her children. How to identify a nothing ass bitch by her, um, by her house. How do I identify a nothing ass bitch by her, um, the fuck was the other one? Whatever the other one was. You know what I'm saying? Like, social media, that's what it was, social media. Um, but her mother is such a sneaky creature because her mother has already been through all this shit. If you're dealing with her, a, a nothing ass bitch, she's a nothing ass bitch because of her mother. Um... I'm not going to recant that statement. I'm not going to recant that statement. I'm not going to recant it. I'm keeping that statement. But her mother is going to have some game like that overly loving bullshit just accepting you off the rip. That shit right there. And even like this, you know, ghetto shit, obviously. Whatever. I don't I don't want to just give you that bullshit. I want to give you subtle shit. Um, so we still working on that one. That's just stay on the Patreon as we move forward with that one. But her mother is going to be her head fucking coach. Mother is going to be the head coach because mother knows if she don't make the money, I'm gonna have to work. At this goddamn Circle K with NBA Youngboy Mama. And I'm not going up that bitch and stand on my feet for no goddamn 12 hours. Fuck that shit. Take your ass out there. You look just like I did when I was your age. That shit ain't gonna last forever. Do it now. Do it now. Fuck that strip club. That is slow money. Get your ass a ugly ass rich man. You should have got fucking Akon. You should have got Seal. Bitch, get your ass out here and get you a ugly ass rich man. And I mean that. That's how they get taught to. That They're taught from a young age how to over-sexualize themselves. Tight pants, makeup, weave. Why in the fuck are you teaching this goddamn nine-year-old child? Why in the fuck is this nine-year-old child wearing them tight-ass goddamn pants? Why is this nine-year-old... Why in the fuck did you have a child if you weren't ready to get up every morning and do her fucking hair like Grandma did? Whoa. Um... But like I said, I told y'all, I'm not going to keep on coming at the nothing ass bitches because they are no different than the alligators, the tigers, and bears. They really can't help who they are. Um, it's on you not to go in a fucking bear nest or well, a bear cave in the swamp with the alligators or in the fucking Sahara Desert or wherever the fuck tigers be at. You know what I'm saying? It's on you to avoid them. And it's on you to be able to tell a cat from a fucking tiger. No matter how the fuck that tiger dresses up. Like, that's way too fucking big to be a guy. Let me get the fuck out this motherfucker. But you, uh, fuck this shit. I'll take, I'll, I'll take the biggest cat they got. All right, big cat. You happen to get smacked for 15 million. Nigga, 15 million. That bitch stayed in that motherfucker long enough to count your pockets and give you a settlement price. 
Fuck the criminal court. I'm taking your ass straight to motherfucking uh 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 civil court. Not civil. If some nigga, you better fucking pay this shit before I get uh that bitch that Black China got and clean your motherfucking ass out and end your label. You better spend this fifteen million and get your ass out the way, nigga. She hit that nigga ass up on the phone. Hey man, look, uh, she, I'm finna have this baby in about two months, my nigga. Look here, uh, them the pictures. Go on here, send that check over. Go on, send that check over, my nigga, if I go public with this shit. Come on, baby, we, we gotta, we gotta work this shit. Hey, listen, listen. Whoa, whoa, look, 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 look. All that baby shit, all that, let, let's just cut that shit short, my nigga. I, I did my time. We done with that inmate shit. Uh, let me go and get me before I go public. Hit me when you're ready. You got my PayPal. You need my cash? What you need? Just hit me when the money ready. Oh man, this whole trip, man. This whole, man, that hoe ain't finna do that shit. That, that, that whole, this, here go fucking the QC click. Man, that hoe love you, man. She did mad. Alright, she just mad. That bitch went straight public on his ass. And what you expect, man? What the fuck do you what like what did you expect? They come for money and they're not going to leave until they have it. And they're not just good with you buying them gifts, buying that that's not gonna be enough. They're not like I don't want to be up under like nigga, I'm looking at Chris Brown, I'm looking at, you know, these model you think the fuck she don't have eyes? It like you thinking that she don't have eyes is like her thinking that you don't have eyes. If you, you don't think she knows, like if he finds me, a, uh, she might not know. If he finds, but I mean, a bitch on game with a mama being a head coach, she gonna know. Like if he finds me attractive, and this is how the fuck I act on social media, this is how I look. There are a million other bitches that look just like me. Real fake, it don't matter. They look just like me. Pussy hit the same way. And a bitch is only uh, fine until you start fucking her. That's for a real nigga. But um, for a lame nigga, you'll just be in love with having a bitch that look good. You, you don't even look at the fact that you have to pay her because that's been your whole life. You've never got a bitch off of just you being you. Bitches never gave you money or nothing. Like you've always had to pay a bitch. So this is a this is as is, is natural as going to the bathroom to you. Um sad way of living, extremely sad way of living. Um and you know, it ain't tricking if you got it. I wouldn't my nigga gonna pay that fifteen me. Should be no problem, shouldn't it? You got it, don't it? Okay. And that child support. Because you know that shit is done. She didn't, nigga, she has put you in R. Kelly, Bill Cosby territory. This ain't, this ain't the other way around, like, when Cardi B drug niggas and all that shit like that. Like, when, uh, that bitch Ari, and I'm gonna talk about Ari and, uh, Moneybag. Yo, you lame as fuck, Moneybag. Yo, my nigga, I'm gonna get crazy, I'm going crazy on you. But, I think that's gonna be on the Patreon. But, It ain't, it ain't like that. Like, where a bitch can just slap a nigga ass on camera all crazy. No. We don't even need footage. We just need her to say it. And it's over with. This bitch has saved pictures in her phone from a whole fucking year ago. You don't think this was a fucking trap? That don't say trap to you? That she kept all the pictures? Can't help somebody new, my new. Real talk. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Galore claimed P then ripped her ring off her finger, dislocating it. That's probably the thing. Wow. In the other four attacks, she claimed he routinely punched and choked her. Galore says in August 2018. Did she, did, did she ask for it? Shit, that bitch might like rough sick. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Um, 
After one alleged attack, he tried to make things right. Men who beat you, I'm not saying that he did this, but I'm just saying men that beat you always want to make things right, right, child? By buying her a $50,000 SUV. Just two weeks later, Lyra alleged... What did I just say? What the fuck did I just say, dog? Come on, dog. Nigga gonna start listening after a while. He broke the driver's side window on the same SUV during a violent altercation and then took the vehicle and changed the title out of her name and into his. She says a week later he paid her 50000 not to call the cops. Alright, so hold on. Hold on. I don't give a... Listen to me, my nigga. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. We not children. That Indian, that Indian give a bullshit, my nigga. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. Bitch, I know motherfucking well you didn't have that broke ass dancer nigga in my you bitch why in the fuck am I hearing that you giving a nigga head while he's driving the fucking SUV that I bought you. Not only are you giving away what I paid for, which is my body that you have for this moment. You embarrass me with niggas driving my shit? Bitch, get the fuck out my goddamn car for our motherfucking you a fuck about this goddamn dope. Bitch, it's my shit. And bitch, if your silence was only worth fifty thousand, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, like, ain't this how the fuck uh, Trump got off? The bitch signed a disclosure or some shit like that. Like, you can't talk about it. It won't talk my dog. Like, wow. And she made some posts. Hold up, I'm trying to get up in this post. She posted, um, while you steady come back with these private apologies and guilt gifts, begging me to forgive you and come back home. Wow. Then one says, I'm tired of being bullied and disrespected when I've been nothing but nice to you and respected those around you. I never asked for none of the money, cars, rings, bags, etc. These are all things you came to me with. I opened my heart up to accepting your kids. Bitch, you open your legs up. You ask for all the goddamn gifts. When I bought you the gift, bitch, I got... I got an extra freaky bitch in the bed, bitch. The fuck is you talking about you never asked for? What the fuck is you saying, bitch? And the issue is, a nigga's not going to... See, you don't know what the fuck happened in these situations. She could have very well started each one of these domestic disputes. And he just retaliated. But a nigga's not going to call the police. And this is why I tell you niggas. Get your shit together... So that if somebody come down your driveway and you see it on this camera or you see it on this camera or the dogs bark, you surround your house with fucking dogs so that any nigga is known. Protect yourself. Motherfucker come down that goddamn driveway the wrong fucking way and then call first. Hey, let me get an officer down here. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm here like, let me go and get an officer down here. Let me get an officer down here. The motherfucker try to play you stupid and shit like that. Say, uh, say, um, go hit him with a white voice and then say it's a nigga breaking the house. The motherfuckers will pop up. They'll teleport down this motherfucker. But, bitch, stop that bullshit. I ain't asked for nothing. Bitch, shut the fuck up, ho. Like, that, that's, that, that shit, that's, that's, and, and for you to be any type of blogger or any type of responsible adult. And you even read that shit without scoffing immediately afterwards. It's just fucking disingenuous. You know what Instagram models want. I need to be paid. Like, ain't that what their OnlyFans and all this cash app shit in their fucking uh, bio is all about? You want me, buy me. Uh, okay, how much for the head? The fuck? You're for sale. 
It's your picture with a price. No different than going on Facebook Marketplace and looking at a fucking car. 500 for the car. It's a picture of the car. Okay. It say everything about the car in that motherfucker. A V8. Uh, seat belts don't work. Air conditioning doesn't work. But the motor runs good. A uh, uh, bitch right here. Lyric galore. Fat ass. Titties. Okay head. Pussy is, uh, is moderately wet. $500. Will you take three fifty? Yes. Come to <laughs> come down this bitch. If that's all it is, my nigga. That's all it is to it, man. These are these are these are motherfuckers that you buy, dog. You buy these motherfuckers, man. And, and stores like this, it, it go crazy because to me, I'm thrown off by it because it's like my nigga. Like, what did you expect? Are you that lame that you really thought that a fucking prostitute slash Instagram model really cared for you? Like the whole, like one of the requirements of being an Instagram model is that you have to be like extremely vain, conceited, selfish. You're not even capable of truly loving a person. You can only reenact it. The uh, vacation and, and we'll do a kissing picture, but you never actually are in love. You just you just reenact shit, uh, impersonate until you get what you want, and that's and we know that that's that's what I'm saying. You buy the bitch for the night, good time. Hey, I hit you up when I'm back in town. It's all love. You supposed to have an actual. I'm not gonna say that because if you have somebody at home, you should be faithful to them. If you're not gonna be faithful to the person at home, don't have someone at home. Because that's gonna add to your karmic debt. Trust me on that one. Don't do not cheat on no some anyone. Like, hey, we're not going together. Um we having sex. This is why I have the camera here. This is why you signed a piece of paper. Until you're ready. If you want to go in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, then you do what you want to do. But I just would not advise you to cheat on someone. If you're tired of fucking them, hey, um, I, I tell them up, I get really tired of fucking people really, 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 really fast. Um, I, I, I used to tell bitches. I mean, but it, it didn't matter. I told the hoes that because I knew where their mind was going. I'm extremely selfish, vain, um, arrogant, childish, um, definitely, definitely not. But I I saw in their eyes like I knew like they it, they didn't they weren't hearing shit I was saying they were like, oh he's talking to me so um, it didn't matter and I because I knew that I was wrong um, that's why I don't like people I said it so I, I should be covered no you're saying it knowing that it's something else like this is you're being disingenuous but. And your extended family so what you won't do is continue to treat me like you haven't cried tears to me about how thankful you are to have me and for trying to help you work on you and the demons and issues you are battling you are battling wishing yourself child listen fuck, listen can i just let me before I, a man is Beating you. Listen, listen, listen. I, I, I feel like she finna give some advice that she wouldn't take herself. I just, just, let me show you what this whole look like. I just feel like she finna give some advice that she wouldn't take herself. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, bitch, you, you, you never got treated like no fucking Instagram model. So you don't know. And crying after bitch that you need to run for your life i need y'all to understand that that is emotional abuse and manipulation is. that is how it they is. keep you there ask any woman who's been in this situation like girl no told my i ain't asked you for your for your money girl bye that's what he used to put to have control over you this shit is crazy now okay here's another one hold now on, hold on hold, hold on hold on Hold on. So she's not at fault for being so worthless that she can be bought with guilt. No, she's not at fault for being that cheap to be bought. Uh, she's not at fault for that. He's at fault for using 
gifts to keep because anyone will stay because anyone will keep getting beat if they're getting gifts. If you don't believe this, you nothing, whoever the fuck this nothing ass bitch who's making this report, if you don't, if you wouldn't stay, then why the fuck would you give her that excuse? Give her that out. You see how this, this logic doesn't make sense, but I'm bashing though. Oh man, that nigga bashing. This, so this makes sense to someone else. Someone give me some type of logic here. She's not at fault. For allowing someone to pay her to kill her. That's not her fault. Anybody will stay if they're getting paid no matter how bad they're getting hurt. What? This is what I'm saying, dog. I don't give a fuck about the... Uh, nigga, but I don't give a fuck about that shit, my nigga. Because this is logical shit. If a woman I love... Uh, to my, uh, you know, sibling, you know, uh, one of my loved ones was with a nigga. Uh, he he buying me gifts, uh, but he beat me. I would say, what? You telling me for what? Uh, leave, leave. You want me to go to prison for murdering a nigga? Because you're there. Leave. Have no contact. If he come down the driveway. I'm going to call the police and make the report so that when I, if I have to murder him, I won't go to prison because your number one goal, objective, is not to be killed or go to prison at all and achieve success. Don't allow someone else's bad decisions Someone else's drama to bring you down and depress you and make you become stagnated because you have so much, uh, just so much fucking weight on your shoulders. No one. That's real shit. That's no one. Nigga, you in prison and she fucking with another nigga that's beating her ass. This whole thing sent uh, 12 niggas to prison to I'm protecting her. I'm back since I started effing with you in July and let you disrespect me publicly. Let those around you disrespect me from the, from the cheating, gaslighting, taking my stuff away when you get mad, giving it to the to the holes you effing with. Wow. She posted that last year, December 13th, 2018. The doc stemmed from a custody case P filed back in May in which he requested joint custody of their child. Lyra has filed these new doc, doc, um, docs requesting sole physical custody of the child on the grounds that he, that he has consistently um, demonstrated physical violence, emotional abuse, irrational and erratic behavior. She took pictures, child. March, a picture of her leg all bruised up. Oh my God. P has had mass, massive success in the music biz and quality control music label and represented the careers of Cardi B, Migos, Lil Yachty, Lil Baby, and others. Galore estimated P's net worth is over $50 million. She wants at least $15 million for her injuries. She's also asking for a court order to stop him from harming her, to stay away from her, and to... Lawyer did that shit. Lawyer wrote that shit up. Lawyer did that shit. But, like, she didn't have to pay the lawyer. Oh, no, this, this is... Estimated... Like, see, my, come on, my nigga. Like, you let, you let these fucking agents get up under you. Get all the information. You taking my shit, and... You not no fucking child, bitch. If you would have bought your shit, he couldn't take your shit. And the first time he did that, why the fuck ain't you leave? Because you a nothing ass bitch. You're a prostitute. You have no other way of getting money. Your money comes from sticking your talons in a man and hoping that he gives you an 18 year check. This goes for all the futures, baby mamas. I, except Sierra, even though she seemed kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see how the fuck you would have a child with a fucking junkie. I just, I just, like, you know what I'm saying? Or a rapper. 
We're both entertainers. Who's going to raise the child? Um, but it's the same shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. There is a type. There is a type. If her business is her body, why, why are you nutting in her? Like, why are you nutting in her? It's the dope. I'm trying to tell you, my nigga, because I was on that shit, dog. I was on that shit. Because I, I was, but I was, I was, I didn't, I didn't have shit, though. I didn't have shit. I didn't have nothing. The fuck? Like, I was pretty sure I was going to die. Like, the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm just out here. You are successful to the point where your money is and you're still nutting in holes and it has to be the dope to keep you at that regressed state mentally that it uh fuck this shit it is all to where because on that dope dog that that especially at Miley you will you're feeling so good in that moment that this moment is forever and you'll have to deal with the repercussions of that years later like I did all those all that shit I did, it came crashing down once I got sober. I didn't have to deal with any of that shit as long as I was out there in the street. When I come out the street, try to get life together, uh, this charge, this warrant, that fucking, uh, this uh, hold over here, this hold, that charge. You went over here with this and this, uh, this, uh, 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 this bitch. You got you to gotta knock holes down, bitches. You know what I'm saying? But it's the dope. It's the dope because in that, like I said, you you pop that pill and you're like, fuck it, my nigga, shit, it's all love, and then you feel so good. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I said, I don't know how these niggas rocking on dope, whatever, like that. But no, nah, my nigga, like I gotta control everything around me. Um, millions. I got millions. Bitch, bitch, please. You don't have no privacy. Embarrass me in front. Of you. Like, how are you allowing yourself to? That you have that. Your self respect is that low. Stop. And then don't give me the oh, when you in love, bitch. Shut the fuck up. And no motherfucking love, hoe. The nigga just beat you up because you was fucking the goddamn dancer, bitch. Sucking the nigga dick in the goddamn car. What the fuck is you talking about? Bitch, you in love with the bag, you and your goddamn mama. I don't want to hear no more of this bullshit, man. It's, it's, it's bullshit. Um, my nigga, if you got something going on, or if you know somebody that got something going on, make sure they see the video. Um, it's 2020, my nigga. I can't, I can't, I can't keep blaming. I, I can't keep blaming nothing ass bitches for being nothing ass bitches, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, a nothing ass bitch is a nothing ass bitch with money or without it. As a nigga who had nothing and now a nigga with money, you got to change your shit up. Or you're going to be right back to that nigga with nothing. And it, it just don't get no more simpler than that. Big Facts Podcast. Make sure you go to the Patreon so you can catch that money bag, yo. And Ari, uh, nigga broke up with uh, Bigfoot. Or make the stallion and uh got with goddamn Ari. She gonna get a, I think she gonna get a baby out that nigga ass. These bitches is not playing. When they get when they get by in their third relationship, second, third relationship, no, they ain't got no more time to play. They gotta get that goddamn nut up out you. They gotta get it. They gotta secure the bag because it's like I'm tired of goddamn having to do all this shit. I wanna chill and go to the Bahamas and shit. I wanna sit back and get my money. Who the fuck want to work for money? Come on, dog. Uh, make sure you hit the PayPal. Make sure you support. Go to the Cash App and all that shit like that. Y'all know how YouTube is playing with us and shit like that. Make sure you go to the new channel, uh, Tactical Operations. Um, that link's in the description box. Uh, that's the Conseco's Rap School. Where um, if you're an artist, the different marketing strategies and shit that's not going to work. I'm pretty much giving you the process of elimination. You probably got ideas of what's going to work. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that shit's not gonna work so you can go to the next plan. Um, so to save you time. Um, do that, I'll see y'all in a minute. Love, love.